There was a time when women wore silk stockings. Then came the invention of pantyhose, a cheaper, more convenient alternative. Pantyhose are knitted from strands of raw nylon. It's no stretch of the imagination to say that when they go on sale, there's usually a run on them. Making a nylon stocking takes only a few minutes. However, it's a complex operation that involves the knitting of five to eight threads as fine as a hair. The threads, usually nylon and spandex, are used along with elastic. Sometimes polyester or cotton are added. The knitting machine goes into action. This one fashions a tube for sheer stockings in 90 seconds. In three minutes, it makes a tube for tights. Its speed is adjusted according to the product being made, varying between 750 and 1200 revolutions per minute. Once the tube is knitted, it is sucked up and lands in a bag where it will be inspected. More than 500 machines share the work, each making a specific model. The two ends must now be joined. This automated machine assembles the two tubes together to form the pantyhose. Then, scissors cut the pantyhose, a necessary step in production of a pair. This opening is enlarged to allow for sewing, which will join the two tubes at the top of the leg. The label with the size or brand name is sewn in place in 10 seconds by this robotic machine. At this pace, it sews on 4,800 labels in eight hours. Installing a gusset requires some preparation. Scissors make a hole at the joining point. Then the stocking is turned inside out by suction, so certain stitching can be done on the inside. Thus, these stitches will be less visible. Now the foot must be sewn. This robotic machine places the foot in position. Then a sewing machine makes stitches at the same time it cuts away excess material. This step takes only 10 seconds. Then the pantyhose is turned right side out, again using suction. Everything is ready for installation of the gusset. The pantyhose is placed in a tub and taken to this department. The stocking is again suctioned and placed on a gusset machine by the operator. This method assures that the gusset will be well centered without a pleat. Putting in the gusset is the final operation in the process. A pre-cut piece of cotton is slid into the space reserved for the gusset and automatically sewn in. Only aesthetic touches remain, such as adding a little color to the pantyhose. They're placed in this machine, which has a large drum with four compartments and a 99-pound capacity. The pantyhose are washed in soapy water, then immersed in dye. Temperature climbs gradually to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. After a five-minute rinsing cycle, a softener is added. This process takes two and a half hours. Once dried, they proceed to inspection. The pantyhose is placed onto a form which stretches it to allow inspection for any imperfections. If all is well, the pantyhose is transferred onto another metal form where it will be pressed. The pantyhose's position is guided by a magic eye. The pantyhose is then carried toward a steam room where it will stay for two and a half seconds before being dried in seven and a half seconds at 280 degrees. They fold and pack 420 pantyhose per hour and make 180,000 pairs per day.